Just visit the new CalgaryHerald.com with more of everything worth knowing. The days are numbered for the 33-year-old bridge that currently connects St. Patrick's Island to the East Village. The Calgary Municipal Land Corporation has chosen a joint Paris and Calgary-based bid to build a span across the bow. This bridge going to go all the way across to Memorial Drive. It was how it blended into the environment of the river and the island. It didn't take away from the river and the island and it added something to it without overwhelming it. I think that was one of the key aspects for them. The RFR Hall cell design beat out 33 other projects from across North America and Europe in sharp contrast to the controversial Peace Bridge, which was awarded without going to tender. It was very tough to narrow it down to three different finalists, and any one of the three finalists would have been a great addition to the city, I think. But at the end of the day, this choice, I think, is a great one. This bridge has also avoided controversy because the 20 to $25 million cost will come from property taxes from new developments around East Village. We're ecstatic. I think we have a great design. I think it suits the site, um, and I'm excited to move forward. The fact this project included local designers was not a factor, according to Olenberger. Nope, the Calgary designer actually stood on his own across the globe, so out of 33 submissions from around the world, it rose to the top all on its own merits, and I think that's great. I don't think the focus is, is that we were Calgary. I think the focus is that we had, uh, have a great design. If everything goes as planned, construction on the St. Patrick's Bridge will begin next year. It will be open for pedestrian use starting in 2012. Rick Donkers, CalgaryHerald.com.